All right, well today I'm going in completely blind on an unboxing. This is the V9000 HDG. All right, so it comes in a box that sort of looks like uh, it should be sitting here, but as I've been told, that is not an empty box shipped to us. It's just uh, part of the packaging deal. So this is made by, um, well, I'll let you figure out who it's made by. There you go. And then, let's see, we can't see most of it. Okay, so here we go. Here's a little bit of information about it right off the bat. So it's a five inch touchscreen HD media player. It supports 1080p, HDMI, MKV. You can read this on your own, I'm sure. Let's go around to this side, nothing here. Okay, well, first things first, why don't we get this, um, why don't we get this sleeve thing slid off so that we can get the box open. One-handed unboxing. See, I'm a man of many talents. Now I'm just going to use two hands. Okay, so take the little sleeve off. Okay, so now we can see all of the specs on the back. So it says, oh, the box is totally coming apart. Look at this. The box fell apart. Okay, that's okay. We can we can read this. So let's see if I can get it in close enough for you to be able to read it. So it's mostly, mostly what I'm guessing is Chinese. But there's some English on here too, and I'm going to try and figure that out. It doesn't help that the headers on the table are actually in Chinese. Um, so full HD, 1080p, 20 megabit per second. Uh, gives a list of a bunch of formats, something about HDMI and AV. I'm guessing those are outputs. Uh, something about 9 megabit megabytes per second, full HD, something something. Okay, this is an 8 gig version. Okay, full HD again. So we've figured out so far that it is full HD. Okay, it is eight gigabyte and it is some kind of handheld media player device. So the top cover comes off and then this is a piece of yellow plastic that from my understanding is actually some kind of a holder for the media player. Okay, so next we'll find, oh good, maybe we'll find some more specs here. So here it says uh, full HD 1920 by 1080. This says 1280p whatever that means. Maybe it's the resolution of the screen. This says HDMI, D-Block, FM, and Remote Control. Okay, here's a little finger hole. Okay, I'll put my finger in there and then pull this up. Okay, next we have, okay, there's the, ooh, that's schmexy. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to what else we have here first. Okay, here's another piece of plastic. Oh, I get it. Okay, so this goes with this, and it goes, uh, well, it goes on the floor when I drop it, and then it goes here. So you put that in there, and then just twist it around a little bit. Ah, hey, hey, now it's a little picture stand thing, so you can put your media player there and uh, watch your media. Okay, so in here we've got some headphones, and here we have a USB A to Mini B charging cable. Here we have, what is this? QC passed. Okay, so this one passed QC, that's good, that's a good step in the right direction. Then we have uh, 1280p, a bunch more Chinese, I'm not really sure what all of this says, but um, there it is. So hey, if you read Chinese, feel free to post a translation of anything that you've seen in this video. I would be very happy to have a look at that. Okay, here we have what appears to be a warranty registration, although I'd have an awfully hard time filling this out, given that I only write in English and only read English. Mind you, I could probably get someone to help me, but I don't know that they'd be able to understand anything I send them on the other hand. Okay, so here's the user's manual. Hopefully there is English in here and I will be able to explain what this thing is very much. Um, something, oh, FAT32, I recognize that, that's a file system, FAT32, excellent, okay, um, moving along, something about installing it, something about charging it, uh, oh, oh, here we go, here's some specs, great, so it takes DC 5 volt, um, 1500 milliamps, it runs at 800 by 480, I'm guessing that's the screen resolution, here are the supported audio formats, here are the supported video formats. Here are the supported uh, photo formats. It supports TXT, something about MP3. Oh, hey, radio. So it has a radio tuner, FM only by the look of things, supported by Windows 7. Okay, 
Why don't we have a look at the headphones that are included? Comes in a nice little like hermetically sealed daggy thing. So it comes with a couple of foamy earbud pieces that look pretty destroyed at this point, but that's okay. Then it's um, got some headphones, anal brand. Okay, and then you, okay, they're pretty nondescript looking. Probably sound all right. All right, so here is the media player itself. So why don't we have a look? So that's quite a large screen. It's um, it's not as glossy as it looks in the camera. It's um, I think it's just something to do with the quality of the light in this room, but it's actually quite a matte finish, so it should be pretty good for viewing in daylight. On this side, we have mini HDMI out. Uh, we have USB and then a volume control. There's one little screw here for potentially taking the device apart. Up at the top, we have an escape key and a power button. I'm going to go ahead and try and press the power button and see if it turns on. Uh, might be worth a shot, but probably not going to happen. Okay, then on this side, we've got HDTV out, headphones out, DC in, 5 volt, a microphone spot. Oh, that's cool. So you guess, guess you can record some kind of voice. Micro SD slot, that's pretty neat. So it's got expandable storage. That's a really cool feature to have in a media player. And then there appears to be some kind of thing on the back. No, no. Okay, I never would have guessed this, but it's made in China. Okay, made in China factories number, huh. So you could actually find out the factory this was made in based on this number, I guess. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, maybe I'll do a follow-up video then showing it actually running and maybe playing back some media, but there it is. There's the unboxing of the V9000HDG made by these guys.